Hello. Right, so I'm here with Tommy. Hello. And we're looking through why Throne of Liberty is going to fail. Um, it's not to be nasty because we really enjoy the game. The The graphics are amazing. The seamlessness is really good. The um, Not necessarily the quest design. The tab targeting slash arcade action mode it's a nice mix of how they've done it and i like the combat it's okay you know what i mean however there's something you find out at level 15 and that's the access to the auction house there's a few other things but um i'll just put on tommy's stream and we'll look at what he's got access to on the on here you're so, in it yeah so, so yeah go on. No, go on. Keep right so you see where it says lowest sale price and there's a currency there that's the premium currency so if, if you want to just if i just quickly open up the cash shop here and i show you that's the it's called lucent it's the premium currency let's go to the special shop look at the currency you can buy all of this with real money now, the problem we've got is that everything, apart from a very few things, are fully purchasable with this Lucent. That's, I, I, I'll tell you what, I'll pop his stream up. So, as you can see, our weapons, you want to click armor? Weapons, daggers, crossbows, longbows, staffs and wands. These are all dropped from raids and uh, world bosses and dungeons. We have armor. Yep. Just see. to put things into perspective, we looked there. If you just press top, there's one there for thirty thousand. Just if we have a look at thirty thousand. Sixty k to be to be to be honest. There's one here. There's one one for sixty k. Yeah, the cheapest on that's thirty thousand. So if we look at thirty thousand, let's see you want to buy thirty thousand of these little fucking shiny gems, right? The equivalent sales rate um if we if we transfer from the korean currency to say us dollars it works out at about 70 dollars for four thousand so we've got four thousand for seventy dollars so if we do thirty thousand that means that this item that's currently on the on the auction house right now is five hundred and twenty five dollars for a singular item that's ridiculous no that's part of a set is that and you think well where'd you get this from where'd you get this wonderful item from this drops off rates this is the big bosses this is the 40 man raid bosses right so that means that all, everything from the dungeons everything from the the raids Everything from all the bosses, all the drops, they're all purchasable on the cash shop. On the auction house, the, the money that you used is cash shop currency. So if you want to buy and participate in the economy, you got a you got to use premium currency. Now, if you just move that, uh, move your mouse a little bit so we can see the, the numbers. Yeah. There's um if you try to sell anything, you see at the top right here where it says tax rate 23%, 23%. That means that if you sell that and it's $500, you're paying what? $130 in taxes on the tax of it? It's quite it's ridiculous. So not only are you using their premium currency, if you sell anything, you're getting taxed twenty three percent. Twenty to put that into perspective, World of Warcraft is five percent for the auction house, five, and this is twenty three percent. Now you might be thinking, well, you don't have to do that. You can make your own armor. You can make it all yourself. So let's go into crafting, and we sell. Okay, I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make this special resistance staff. All of this stuff is purchasable from the cash shop. You want to pop up the materials? So not only the materials, 
but the lithographs that you have to grind your ass off to get that are rare drops from the dungeons they're all purchasable with the premium currency to make it worse what makes it even worse is that do you want to do you want to take a little trip inside that that dungeon yeah, that's something i want to talk about so like the fact that jx is covered these are all purchasable you get these by farming mobs inside dungeons there's a dungeon here okay let's go visit it <laughs> Whilst he's on his way as well, this form that he's got is like his travel form, right? It's their equivalent of mounts. All so of the open. skins on the mounts are purchasable on the cash app as well. Which isn't the main problem that we have with the game. No. So this dungeon here, it's only available at certain times of the day. Okay, so just kind of think about it a minute. Certain times of the day, this is locked. Which seems like a cool premise. It, it does. It, it seems like a cool premise, but when you actually look at the implications of that, it's a lot worse because you've got bosses spawning at scheduled times. You've got dungeons locked out at certain times, which means the accessibility to grind is limited. If you need a certain thing and it drops off of a dungeon, your options are to either wait the two hours for it to reopen again or buy it from the cash shop. If they're limiting and, and you only need one item, let's say, why yeah. would you not just drop a bit of cash to buy it? The game is filled with bots right now as well. Yeah, I can, I can show that. These are bots. Yeah, we found some bots. As you can see... Are we in perfect sync? Yeah. See this? This is this is fucking broken. See this guy here can't even farm his own mobs because of these. Perfect yeah. sync doing the same attack, same abilities. That is a problem. And in the dungeons, we saw about I think there were five or six, uh, you know, four or five different packs of these running around in each region of the dungeon. So it was all locked out by bots. All of the mobs were there, locked by mobs, uh, bots. Yeah. Um, the game's been out two months, and this hasn't been addressed. It, it, they're still ramping in it. I don't know why. They're so aware of the bots. They're aware of the bots. This is cool. Yeah, the, the game's really cool. It looks really pretty. The seamlessness is really cool. The combat's alright. It's just the predatory nature of the cash shop. Now... Most people are going to think, well, that's not going to, you know, this is a Korean release right now, and it's only available in Korea. It's not been released in the West, it's going to be released in the West by Amazon. And when they release it, they're going to take all this egregious stuff out of the game. They're not going to do that. They're going to change the business model. It's not going to be paid to win. All the cash up stuff's going to be taken out. However, there is a letter here. This is a, a, produ a producer's letter, and this comes from uh, a YouTuber called Society of Gaming. Check his comment out. I'll put a link to this video in the description of this video. Let's read it. I understand that there is talks of the gl global version of Throne and Liberty is different from the domestic version, and that it provides a flat rate service overseas. I tell you that this is not true at all. The domestic and global versions are still the same, and the business model is also the same. There is no chance to change this policy either. So that means that... Uh, oh, it also says, we have no plans at all, but even if we do change it, the changes will be applied to both the Korean and global versions, and we officially notify you so that you'll be aware of the contents faster than anyone else. So all of this cash shop stuff, the, the whole business model that they've got, they don't have plans to change it, even if they're going to bring it into the West. And they said that if they do decide to change it, then it'll happen to the Korean one, of the, the, the domestic version as well, which is the Korean version of the game. If this releases like it is now into the West, 
it will be dead on arrives. The game's fun, it's okay, but when you can buy everything in the game from the cash shop with real money, it's not. There's people that say, there was some that were saying there's no, there's no real world money trading either. However, and this isn't to advertise, if we go to a certain website. So, this is the server that I'm currently playing on. And if we look at the offers, these are in the thousands. So if I buy 4,000, that's the equivalent of 46. That's half the price of the cash shop right now. Which means that the economy and all of the money that's within the game and all of the stuff that's on the cash shop and everything else is all being powered through real world money trading. So there's yeah. a bot problem, there's a real world money trading problem, everything's accessible from the cash shop. The only caveat, and this is where people might say, it's not all, there's one thing you cannot buy from the cash shop, and that, that's the upgrade box. So if we look how to get these upgrade box, you can, you can, you can acquire them from um, the, oh, what, what was it called, the the um the events so there's a few events here and you can you can get some of these pages you can get some of the boxes that, that have the things in them you can craft them so the only thing that you really need to do uh, uh, that you can't buy are your skill books but you don't need um like if i just level this up here it goes to through there's going to be an eventual cap on how high this goes so eventually you're going to cap out all of your skills, right? And at that point, the only difference between you and someone who buys the gold or, or buys the, um, the premium stuff is that they're going to be way more geared than you. You can grind. Yes, you can grind. However, competing with the boss in the dungeon right now is not really possible. The crafting, you can buy everything to craft what you need. So why would you ever grind out all all of that stuff because if we look at all the stuff that's required you can just buy it anyway there is a cool feature though that i will say which is that you can run around the low, lower level regions and, and mine and gather materials and then upgrade them so if you get five grays you can turn that into one green if you get five greens you can turn it into one blue five blues you can turn it into a purple for the material not all of the materials do this, but you can do that. So there is a way to grind the game and play it. But when everything, everything, even the red bosses and all, everything is purchasable from the cash shop, and there's this many bots in it, it devalues any sense of progression because <clears throat> it can all just be farmed by bots. Exactly. Yeah. Do you have anything to add? I mean, the, the fact that you can get it off these third seller sites just gives it gives people more of an opportunity to just buy it, not only cheaper, but just to buy it in general. But this business model is uh, clearly not working, not even in Korea, to be honest. Yeah, if we look at, um, let's have a look at the, I was looking at business Korea. There's another thing I just want to add, just so, it might sound like I'm going off topic, but there's certain, um, there's certain, well, not events, but there's certain uh, mobs you can grind in the game when the game's only graded for certain materials yep. you need. It kind of gives you more, it gives people more of an incentive to then just, yeah, use the wallets because it's just not, for the average game, it's probably not, not feasible, really. Yeah. yeah. You need to, to do certain things at certain times in the game. It's, yeah. it, it's, it's, quite egregious when you think about it. it's like it's been calculated yeah for people to use a wallet but for example there's a herb that you can get and this herb if it's just standard you get i've actually got some you get these oh no that's the uncommon variant and that's the rare variant you get um let me try to see if i can find it for example these right this this log here when it rains, you can get the uncommon variant. And when there's a dust storm, you can get the rare variant. 
which means that farming materials are based off of time the time lock now if you've got bots that are in the game and they're farming it all the time they're going to eventually hit all of these things for an average person to go out and farm this stuff they would have to realize when it's going to start raining which it sounds like it's just started raining now yeah you have to be at the right time at the right place however it's so much more accessible just to buy it from the cash shop for next to nothing so you can go and go and do it the biggest problem and this is this is where i'd say that the game could be fixed is remove the premium currency from the auction house if you can directly buy currency that is for the auction house it means that all of this silver that you're using is pointless this uh, not silver the uh, salt solant you know what i mean totally pointless it's only a means to be a check to make sure that you've got enough materials this you can you, you, you're gonna have to grind this out um but you can buy things with the premium and then sell the stuff that you buy to get the solent so the, the free currency that's in the game isn't the currency that's used this is it's a separate one so that's the biggest problem with it at the moment and that business model is real yeah. bad it's really gorgeous one of my problems i'm having with it is the fact that you can buy an item which basically bots for you in the game for eight hours and you can yeah. buy a load of them that's it that it's kind you of a big problem up? i can't get it up except i'm not i can't access it until level 20. yeah but it, it is there i'm sure people can um, find out themselves it's definitely in the game yeah so not only is there bots in the game but they also allow your character to officially be botted for it, eight hours it locks off a lot of the, the cash shop it locks it off until you hit certain milestones and i think that's to try to capture capture the sunken cost fallacy oh well i've spent this much time in the game now but when you get to that certain level you realize that hold up a second this isn't you know this is more pay to win than i first initially expect suspected for me i load up a game a brand new mmo that i'm playing and i go let's check the cash shop let's see what's in it and i look in the cash shop and see what's in there but a level one and a level twenty looking in the cash shop, there's different things that you'll see. Yeah, they've they've, they've hit it pretty. They, they've pretty hidden well. it until you get to a certain level. Yeah, and that's predatory. That's very yeah. predatory that they have to do that. It's not transparent at all. If they was very transparent with it, it'd make more sense. But the re the way that they're doing it, and all of like if you just saw there in the middle of the screen, it popped up. This person has got this certain item. There's a certain, there's a, there's a talk that I'll put in in the description down below, and it's from these mobile companies because the game is built like a mobile game. The monetization is very mobile game like. I do just want to step in and say, like, mm -hmm. I get that we're not level fifty. I understand mm -hmm. that people might take the opinion, oh, we're not, you've not got to max level, so you don't really know, but. I think we've showed you enough to know that you don't even need to be max level to buy the best shit. That's that's the yeah. funny thing about it. You can literally wear epics at the same level I am now. I can put a full full set on at level eighty. Yeah. It it, it there's something it just doesn't seem right. So the contracts are just quests, the dailies that you can do, I think ten a day, right? Yeah. So looking through it says there kill spiders, what's the other one say? Uh, this one, yeah, spiders, goblins, and goblins. They're, they're all about. just kill quests. That's <clears throat> all they are, is kill quests. Um, there are a few gather quests in there as well. But what you'll be looking forward to at the end, when you hit level 50 and you finish all your main quests and you grinded it out most of your gear, and you, you sat there in all your purple epics, and you think, wow, oh, I need to go do something, you do dailies. That's the game. Do dailies. Yeah. And that, that, that locks, there's some things locked behind that. And, and do the events as well that are time locked. Make sure you set a time at 3 o'clock in the morning to come down. Go do, your, do your, your wolf hunting. You know what I mean? It's not 3, it's 2, but you know, it's every 2 hours. And there's other other things, other events that go on that are very time locked. It's, um, it's the fact that you can buy pretty much everything that's dropped. 
all made. Yeah. And you can wear it at any level. The, the only difference is that you have to level your weapons, which makes you grind bar for materials. And how you do that is obviously by doing contracts or world bosses or dungeons. And these contracts also give you um, contract uh, coins, and you can use them to buy, like, um, I can probably armor access sets that. and stuff like that. Yeah, you can access that. So, th there is some stuff in the game you can do but, yourself, um... but a lot of... You can do everything in the game yourself. Like, and I, you're probably thinking, oh, well, why are you complaining? Well, this game is majority, massively, PvP. Unless you, you know, it's not really skill-based if you can just basically buy all the best shit. You're just going to get one shot all the time. Yeah. It's not PvP, is it? It's just literally being griefed. Because someone's opened their wallet and thought, you know what, I can't be arsed waiting for all these locked events. I'm just going to buy this shit so I can get on and enjoy the game how I want to enjoy it. Yep. It's bad that the developers knowingly are locking certain events, certain bosses, certain raids for that shit to, to happen. It's, it's ridiculous. There are certain dungeons as well that at night time they're locked. And there's some other dungeons at night time it's PvP's enabled. Now, we did some dueling and gear is a massive proponent of um, your damage output and your, your damage resistance right so the better gear you have on the better you do in pvp the better you yeah. do in pvp is, is dictated by your gear all of the, the gear you can level your gear up as well yeah you, you can level your gear up and what you can do is if you've got a gray you level that up you can imprint it onto the green and you can level that up even more and purples have a higher upgrade um lock awesome. than yeah. everything else so However, you can still be in the best gear with it, then if people have like leveled their theirs up more than you have, you're still gonna get beat. It's hmm. kind of I don't like that idea, but anyway. The whole argument of it's pay to progress, not pay to win, when there's PvP in such prevalent form as it is within this game, you can you can be grinding a spot and at a certain time PvP is enabled, <laughs> meaning that only the people in the best gear have are, are the, the people that are the the most geared are going to be able to win them fights, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Yeah. There's no balance. That's, it's not balanced. That's, that is fundamentally pay to win. Um, it's almost as if, if we take a look back at World of Warcraft and saying that I can buy the blessed uh, wins, you know, the, the, the legendary sword for the, for a warrior, right? Uh, is it, no, it's an axe and not a sword. Yeah. Um, I can buy all the legends, I can buy all, everything, all the, you know, AQ40 stuff, I can buy all that stuff for real money, and then bring it into PvP and kick the shit out of everyone. And then say, no, 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 you can just go do the raids and the dungeons yourself, you don't need to, it's just, that's pay to progress. That would be considered pay to win. If I buy the best gear, the best weapons, Buy all the upgrades and everything that I need. And the only thing I, I, I'm lacking is my skills. I can then spend all of my time on leveling up them skills. And once your skills are max level and my skills are max level, the only difference between me and you is that I'm in the best gear in the game and you're not. Who's going to win that fight? Sure, it's going to be down to skill. But that's not the case. That's not the case at all. Because we did some PvP in the arena, which is um, just over here. I, I had two greens on, and probably was in greys. It's the only difference. I had one level up than him on, on two items, and there was not a chance in the world that you were going to kill me. Um, so, it, it, it is gear dependent. It is gear dependent. Yeah. You, you could say, well, you could argue you could play it strictly free to play. I mean, you could. But, I mean, you're going to be putting so much hours in. And you're going to get to the point that we've got to, you know, like, why the hell am I, like, grinding these mobs? And by the way, to NSOF, uh, NCSOF, like, you need to work on your combat if you're making people grind mobs for that much. If you're going to have a, gr mind, <laughs> gr a mob grinding game, combat needs to be slightly better. But anyway, you're going to be putting, like, 60 hours in to just get a couple of things when you know there's going to be about 100 people who have just bought it. It's, yeah, it's just a complete time time waste it's so. built so that the house always wins 
Yeah, exactly. So, so the person with the biggest money is is winning. What what I meant by that is the whoever's because it's premium currency, the developers yeah. always win. You buy yeah, something, yeah. you use their premium currency. You sell something, they tax you, and they you use their premium currency. They delete yeah. swaths of money from the economy, but they benefit because you're buying premium currency. The only way to implement currency into the, the economy is to buy the premium currency. When you sell something, somewhere along the line, someone had to buy premium currency for you to be able to sell that thing and receive the premium currency. Unless they sort this uh, monetization out, Amazon, this game's... What's this? I mean, it, it says a lot of the Korean community. Yeah, I, I'm going to share that. Me. I'm going to share that. So this is from Business Korea. And um, while results for the throne on liberty in domestic markets has been disappointing, the game is still set to release through Amazon in two, uh, the second quarter of 2024 after CBT in uh, Q1 2024, which is another one of their IPs. So we do have a release date here which uh, in the West, which is Q2. However, the domestic market has been disappointing. Meaning this monetization and the game, because the game is beautiful, it's really good. The combat's passable. Um, it's not performed as well as it should have. And I think that's purely down to the monetization. Yeah. But end game, end game, what you will have to look forward to at end game is obviously doing your contracts and your dailies and stuff. But there's a yeah. big part of this, which is guild versus guild. If you just pop Massive. open your map and you see where there's like little green um, there, that's the zone where you just hovered over. These are all different nodes that captured by guilds. So a guild will capture it and they will get passive resources and things and, and influence over that realm and they get it for owning the node. Now how do you get the node? You get the node by PvP. Um, and the best people who are going to be PvPing are the people who's paying the most money. So the whole end game of, of the node system is PvP. So I think I think that kind of says it all. Yeah, I'll find another dungeon as well. There's no instanced PvP either. It's all open world, which is cool, but when the gearing system is the way it is, it's not fair, it's not fun. Because you will just get one shot even at level 50 if you're not in the best gear and, and things you, you don't stand the chance of competing unless you're willing to put thousands and thousands of hours into grinding at yeah. the equivalence of someone putting money in it's time versus money that's what you're competing against and if you are willing to you're willing to play the game and invest a lot of time you won't you won't be able to to win it in pvp against these people okay thanks for watching we'll leave it there um leave a comment subscribe love you bye peace